Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Libra, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Libra. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, Libra. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is coming towards you, Libra. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Libra sign. Thank you so much, Libra, for coming back. Thank you so much, Libra, for being here. We will look into the final week of December 2023, and we will be tapping into the new year, January 2024. Let's look at your uh, situation, your focus, and your advice, okay? And let's see what's coming towards you in love, career, money, and general situationship, okay? Oh, you've got the lover's card in here. What can I get for the Libra sign? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for your support to my channel, to my team uh, this year, 2020, 2023. Sorry, Mercury Retrograde. I wish to be a part of your 2024. So I invite you to please click subscribe, click the bell. And I would love to be a reader for 2024, year 2024. So let's start your reading, Libra. You're starting the reading with the world card. Um, I love this card because it speaks about closure. And as you step into end of December 2023, I can feel how excited you are with um, the new year. Um I'm also picking up a strong vibe with the world card that let bygones be bygones, okay? So, you're probably very, you're not looking back. With the world card in here, I mean, you know, for some of you, this was a heartbreaking year. Because for some of you guys, there was some heartbreak. There were some people who betrayed you. Uh, there were some people at work, you know, stubbornness, ego. Uh, for some of you, it's also one of your best year uh, with the world card. So there's a lot of reflection in here, Libra, where, yep, life is so, uh, life is difficult, but life is also full of surprises with the world card in here. You feeling so great about your 2023, wherever you are right now in love, career, money, and general situationship, there is an outpouring of appreciation or gratitude that you're alive you're breathing and you could be with your family or friends so there's so much gratitude in and how you close uh this chapter of your life this uh 2023 with the world card in here particularly um there is some sort of surprising plot and twist about your 2023 which leads to relative reconciliation for some of you uh you finally seeing the true color of the true colors of some people around you you are keeping it in mind you know you are carrying with you the lessons of 2023 and keeping in mind the people who you need to especially put like keep arms at length in the world garden here and most specifically eight of wands you're so excited to really start your new year with the four of cups um I feel like Libra, as you, I'm, I'm picking up the word as you, you know, you're, you're, you're sitting in a frequency, in a vibe where you don't want to take shit to anybody. I'm kind of picking up that vibe here, like for eight of wands, four of cups, you will not take S-H-I-T in here, four of cups. Um, there is news uh, with this uh, Pegasus image in here i'm kind of picking up that you are not going to you're not going to take shite to anybody okay especially um end of december 2023 2023 early part of january 2024 you're not going to take any pissed with anybody here with the four of cups you're here under the three your reflection uh you're very excited for what you are about to embark or start you know clearing your objective thinking of your new year's solution there is if you look at this cup it came from a cloud or yeah it looks like there is some sort of 
I would say a news. Um, I, I'm seeing you also, Libra, the, month, the early part of January 2024. You could be slowing down or into reflection, into a do not disturb me mode. And this news of apology coming from a person who, a significant person who you put a lot of investment, maybe money, maybe time, but they were not all in for you. So they probably touch base with you early part of 2023. Um, the thing is, they're not directly saying sorry, but the conversa if you read between the lines, the conversation is like more of sorry that I wasn't able to spend lots of time with you. It could be a lover or it could be a friend with the Four of Cups in here. But again, you're not in the mood to reconciliation. The early part of 2023, you're not in the mood to reconciliation. You're all about meditating, reflection, thinking about what sort of adventure or task or, I don't know, objective for 2024. So they can wait. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing the word, they will uh, ring you. They won't text you. They will surprise call you, Libra. Okay? Now, let's see what else is coming towards you for January 2024. You've got a soulmate in here. The lover's card. But this is a downgrade. Okay? Now, it could be this person. Because I feel like it's very spontaneous. I'm picking up two vibe in here, Libra. I'm kind of picking up the vibe of a friend and a... <clears throat> sorry i'm picking up the the vibe of a friend or it could be a lover what's coming towards you this is definitely a soulmate but it's downgrading so let's look at the soulmate card in the three of cups ten of cups all right so look i feel like there is a romantic vibe there is a romantic person in here or a friendship there's a friendship dynamic or a romantic connection um, who, the thing is, they're very happy with you, but they don't want to say it. Like, a person is so thankful and so happy, like you were a blessing in their life, but they never really verbalize it. I'm kind of picking up the same vibe where they're going to reach out, but they're not, they're not exactly saying sorry. But you can read between the lines because somehow this person is wanting a reset because from soulmate could be lover but from soulmate it's downgraded to a three of cups so they wanted to start all over again with you and one of their priorities you're one of their priorities you are now a priority there's a friend or it could be a lover um in order to there's a part of them that okay in order for me to be accepted into libra's life i should allow their eight well, whoever this person is, they aim to be a two of cups, okay? They want to be your lover. They want to be your best friend again. They want to be your person. The thing is, before they can get to the two of cups, they have to downgrade to the three of cups because you guys were best friend. You guys were soulmate. But something happened because they were very happy with you. This is like soulmate connection, best friend very romantic but something happened so in order for them to return into your life they're willing to start all over again so they're willing to start with dating or getting to know or reset three of cups because they aim to put a lot of priority to okay let me start all over again with libra in the hope that this slow steady approach would lead me to the two of cups okay this is their goal eventually being a best friend again or being romantic but this is ultimately their goal libra the two of cups the death card it's possible that it's a scorpio it could be the last time you talked to them was last year uh, it could be around october november the ace of wands um you block this person libra they'll find a way to connect with you okay um it looks like this person has been looking for you since uh, November month, October, November. Maybe you block them, but they'll find a way. Three of Swords, you're still hurt. Um, you might not be ready for them, but they're ready for you. So they will do everything in their power to, I would say, work towards getting a slow and steady start. Be prepared, Libra. Um, they're meant to come back to you in January. And